Hey what is going on everyone this is Wicked and tonight I will show you how to overclock or underclock your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. The ability to overclock is gained by flashing a custom kernel on your device. It is called Pikaka kernel. All the links for the files and the XDA thread are linked in the description. After you flash anything on your device your warranty will be voided. There's always a chance for something to go wrong which overclocking not so often though. You are on your own. There are some things that you may want to take into consideration. First of all, you'll need TWRP installed on your device. If you don't know what TWRP is or how to get it running on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, visit the video in the car section. Your firmware should be greater than QE3 or B. Bear in mind that this kernel requires SuperSU root. I tried it with Majisk and I had no luck getting it working. Also, Synapse app, which will control the kernel settings, requires BusyBox. So if you're not running a custom ROM already, which has BusyBox integrated, you'll have to install the latest BusyBox from Google Play Store. Now, let's talk about the use of overclocking. By default, Samsung's Exynos processor comes with a maximum clock of 2.35 GHz. With this kernel, you're able to set it up to 2.65 GHz. Also, the max GPU frequency is set to 572 MHz. And of course, a question which everyone is asking themselves right now is why would you ever wanna overclock your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus? It is already blazing fast. And that is absolutely true. Overclocking in this case is just for fun. I will show you an Antutu score with the CPU and GPU underclocked and of course with them overclocked. But until then, let's get into the installation procedure. Get into TWRP. Since you must have TWRP installed, I guess you already know how to do that. Then go to install and select the kernel. Swipe to install and after you finished, go back and install SuperSU. After it is finished, wipe cache and Dalvik and of course reboot your device. Take in mind that the first booting process will take up to 5 minutes. After you completely boot it up, go and install Synapse from Google Play Store. And if you're not running a custom ROM as I said earlier, BusyBox. You'll have to open up BusyBox app and install the latest BusyBox available. This step was optional if you're running a custom ROM. Now open up Synapse and grant root permissions. Here you'll have tons of freaking options. The settings we want to modify is MNGS Live CPU Frequency. In the first test I will set it to 1.93 GHz and that means I will underclock it and also I will set a frequency of 338 MHz for GPU. I open up onto benchmark, grant all the permissions and this is the score I got. On the wall of speed this is way under the last one. So yep, that's a huge difference in terms of uh, Antutu benchmark score. So will it be faster than a Renovite ICE 2.0 with overclock? Let's find out. I set the max frequency to 2.65 GHz for CPU and uh, 572 MHz for GPU. And of course ran Antutu benchmark again. This time I got a score which I have to admit it's the best one so far on the wall of speed. Will not really take into consideration because um, the wall of speed, on the wall of speed, there are only ROMs which come by default with a kernel, which the developer thinks it's best for its creation. So it wouldn't be fair that I install my desired one just to show it's faster than a competition. Just for demonstration purpose, that was the result. Anyways, that was the tutorial for today. I hope you like it. If you did, make sure you click that thumbs up button and subscribe right down to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time. Take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.